Hallo zusammen, I'm your Vlog Dave. In today's episode of Life in Germany, I want to talk a bit about renting an apartment in Germany, which German words you should know and how it's organized in many cases. So just to make this clear right away, I'm not gonna be talking about purchasing flats or houses, but rather about renting something in Germany. This video won't cover every single aspect one could mention about this topic either. However, I'm gonna try to address a few important points. One term pretty much everything revolves around here is the noun die Miete, singular die Mieten plural, the rent or the lease. This term can be used in various ways and contexts. Ich wohne hier zur Miete. Ich zahle Miete. Die Mietzahlung, singular, die Mietzahlungen, plural, or die Mietkosten. An apartment you can rent could be called die Mietwohnung, singular, die Mietwohnungen, plural. A rather general term for an apartment is die Wohnung, singular, die Wohnungen, plural. A leasable or hireable house, das Haus, singular, die Häuser, plural, is also called a Mietshaus, das Mietshaus. You might find offerings in local newspapers, for instance, die Zeitung, singular, die Zeitungen, plural, or well, on the internet. You could also consult a so-called Makler or Immobilienmakler, der Makler. Nowadays, the broker's commission or brokerage, die Courtage, has to be paid by the respective Vermieter, der Vermieter singular, die Vermieter plural, the landlord, who is collaborating with the broker and who is offering apartments through a broker. Ein Vermieter vermietet seine Wohnung an jemanden. Die Immobilie singular, die Immobilien plural, the property, real estate or just estate is another term you can find quite often. It's rather used for houses, estates or grounds, das Grundstück singular, die Grundstücke plural, and it's mostly used in cases someone purchases a house or an apartment. Alright, so let's assume you found a flat you'd like to rent. Before I'm gonna talk about amounts of money, well, I wanna and I need to mention two very important terms here. Die Kaltmiete and die Warmmiete. The literal translation would be the cold rent and the warm rent. Yeah. Let's begin with die Kaltmiete first. So this amount of money only says how much rent you have to pay just for die Wohnfläche, meaning the living space or the apartment itself. The rooms. Die Räume plural, der Raum singular. This amount of money doesn't include the so-called Nebenkosten, die Nebenkosten, the additional costs. But what is the final Mietbetrag? Der Mietbetrag singular, die Mietbeträge plural, the rental. Round two. Fight. This amount of money is expressed through the so-called Warmmiete, die Warmmiete. Ich muss die Miete an meinen Vermieter überweisen. I have to remit the rent to my landlord. There are many different parameters that are summed up in the term die Nebenkosten. Some of them are usually included in many additional costs for respective different apartments, while others might be or might not be included in different Mietverträgen. Der Mietvertrag singular, die Mietverträge plural, the lease or rental agreement. The following few parameters are often included in the Nebenkosten. Das Abwasser, the wastewater, meaning water costs. Die Heizkosten, a plural word, heating costs. Die Straßenreinigung, costs for street cleaning. Die Müllabfuhr, the garbage collection service. Das Hausflur und oder Kellerlicht, lights in the hallway for instance or in the basement, every tenant in a house uses. Or for instance, der Kabelanschluss, the cable junction or connection. You, being der Mieter, the tenant, receive die Nebenkostenabrechnung from your landlord near the end of every year. 
It's also common to pay a so-called caution, de caution, a surety or a bond to the landlord once you've moved in. The landlord might use this money in case you can't pay your rent or parts of your rent. He might also use it in case you broke or destroyed parts of the flat or certain things in rooms that are owned by the landlord. Ich ziehe in eine Wohnung ein. Yay! Ich ziehe aus einer Wohnung aus. Oi, that escalated quickly. Coming back to the Warmmiete. Yes, it includes many parameters, but not all you might think of. As you might have noticed, it's common to choose a utility company or an energy provider independently in Germany. It's der Energieversorger. Usually the energy provider works with a flat adjustment, der pauschale Abschlag, or die pauschale. An average estimated Energieverbrauch, der Energieverbrauch, the power consumption. And of course, there is even more to this topic too. So remember, this is just an overview on how things usually work. So just a general advice. When it's the first time you're in Germany and you don't know how things are organized or work here yet, be honest about it and don't hesitate to tell other Germans. They can definitely help you. There are a lot of different Versicherungen you have or should keep in mind when living in Germany too. Die Versicherung, singular, die Versicherungen, plural, the insurance. You need to have a health insurance in Germany, die Krankenversicherung. I mean, there are a few contexts in which certain people might be freed from this duty or obligation, die Pflicht, but generally speaking it's an obligation in the German system. Die Haftpflichtversicherung, the liability insurance, can be subdivided into subsidiary liability insurances too. And some of them are mandatory insurances as well. The Hausratversicherung, contents insurance or household insurance, is an optional one for instance. It helps against damage or vandalism that's caused by burglars for instance, when they break into an apartment. In Germany, lease costs can vary drastically, depending on the area and other aspects. In October of 2016, however, the average lease costs were at 7 euros and 21 cents per Quadratmeter, der Quadratmeter singular, die Quadratmeter plural, square meters. Okay, so let's say your future apartment has a size of 60 square meters. In this case, the average lease costs for a German flat this size might be around 432 euros. And in case your future apartment has a size of 100 square meters, it would probably be around 721 euros. But keep in mind, these lease costs relate to the so-called Kaltmiete, which means additional costs are not included yet. You can find links to this source and to other pretty informative websites in the video description by the way. And yes, I need to mention it one more time, this video didn't cover or address every single aspect you have to consider in this context. But I think I covered some of the most important ones. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you want to support me and this channel, leave a like share this video with other people and don't hesitate to subscribe. You can also support me on the crowdfunding page Patreon. That really helps a lot and makes this channel possible. I'm your Vlog Dave. Tschüss und bis zum nächsten Mal.